Hello, my name is Paige Oliver, and I'm a scientist at Corteva AgriScience. So whether you also love science or you're just curious, you're in the right place. So currently, my family and I are living in Singapore. And Singapore is a country that has rain over 160 days out of the year. And so I thought I'd share with you a couple of really easy to do experiments that you can do in your home with things that you can find around the house um, that relate to rain. So the first experiment that we're going to do is forming a rain cloud and then and then you get to see it rain as well. So all you need to do is take either a jar or in this case it's a flower vase where you fill it with water and it's a, you want a little bit cooler water. You're also going to want shaving cream and a little bit of food coloring, some water, and then either a syringe or a pipette or you can even use a straw. So first you take your, your cool water and you put it in your container. And then next, you're gonna use your shaving foam. Um, that's the best. And you cover the whole top of your water. There you go. Good covering, you want it to completely cover the water. This is a fun part, you can do this with kids. All right, so now you've got your cloud and you've got your water and you to then take your water that you added some food coloring to and you put it over the top and just slowly put it through the shaving foam. And what happens is outside when water evaporates from the earth, it comes in contact with dust particles up in the air and that water starts to attach to that, those dust particles. And as you get more and more water up in the atmosphere, they start to come together and get heavier. And then gravity pulls those water droplets down in the form of rain. And so here, we're just gonna get to start to see, bring it a little bit closer to the, the camera. Get a little bit more water. So in this case, it's purple. I had some purple food coloring. So I've got some purple colored water and we'll just bring it right on top and you'll see the rain start to come down through. All right. And you can repeat this with all different types of colorings to have all different colors of rain. You can see it start to go through. You have to get the, the clouds saturated with the water first before it can rain. So sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but just a little bit of, little bit of patience and then you can see it come through. You can see it once too. You can see that line right there where it's come through the that shaving foam. And then you can see it start to come down. That shaving foam acts as a bit of a filter. Can see that storm cloud brewing. There you go. And as you continue to add, and as that water continues to warm up, you'll see the purple or whatever color you made that water, you'll see it start to dissipate or spread coming out from your storm cloud. So that was our first experiment, looking at a storm cloud in a jar. Next, we're going to see what comes after that storm cloud and it's a rainbow. So we'll do the rainbow density experiment in just a moment.